All right, guys. Um, I hope you guys uh, caught me on that last one. Um, so if you notice, when we went to publish last time using the data project, right, underneath Visual Studio 2013 Express, if you don't know anything about that, go back to tutorial, get everything downloaded. Let's just do it. Uh, there was a generate script for Blogger. The reason why, and this is super important because this can frustrate the heck out of someone, is right click on your project. We're going to step back one more. I want you guys to see this. Right click on your SQL project properties. And then over here, it was set on SQL Server 2012. Um, Windows Azure SQL database has its own schema. So make sure you click that and click save and click build. And if you right click and you click publish, generate script, you're going to get this script right here. So this is what Visual Studio created for us, right? Um, and this is what you can either run on the instance yourself through this window, right? So if you go back to your manage, SQL database, you went through your connection strings, you went through blog, blah, blah, blah. Click to manage. This is going to pop up. Click new query. You could paste that in here and run it and it'd create everything for you, right? But we want to get into more automation, which is what Visual Studio 2013 provides you. So let's go ahead and right click this again. Let's click publish. And you notice we had to enter this, uh, enter this information all the time, which is super annoying, right? You don't want to remember that Y0682456. So why not create a profile for it? Boom. You see that right over here? Just popped up. Blog.sql.publishxml. Yeah, it did it. So um, we're going to go ahead. And since there wasn't anything under here, once I click save, I'm going to edit this. And we're going to do this real quick. I'm going to enter this info. Um, Click the save password, please. Um, you don't you don't normally have to do that, but it save you a ton of time. Okay, click this down. It's going to load your databases. Do it to the blog, not to the master. It won't publish correctly. Okay, test connection. Boom. It's good. Succeed. Okay. Now it's going to say database name, publish script name. Right. This other one is nothing right now because we just click save with no configuration. Blog SQL. And then I'm going to do dot uh, staging, okay? Or dot, in this case, blog, right? So if you want to create a staging database, you could have called it blog staging and then create a published script for blog staging. And this right here, profile, would be mapped to your blog staging. And then when you make your changes, click those changes out to publish, right? We can talk about doing different branches and TFS and everything later. Okay, so publish script name. Let's call it blog. Right, take that out. That's redundant. Blah, 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 one dot. Okay, save profile. You notice it's going to show up uh, right over here. So load your profile. You're going to see under all your stuff. Here's this stuff right here. Right, blog.sql. That's what we just saved. Okay. So generate script. Now what we're going to do is go ahead and click publish, right? So it's going to publish it to our database that's out there. And wada bing, bada boom, we're going to have our database done correctly, right? You just come back into these projects, make your changes, build it, make sure it works correctly, which prevents a lot of errors that you might have if you're trying to run scripts manually. Uh, if you notice down here, I'm going to pull this up. Uh, it says publish a blog, blah, 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 um, database name blog, right? Uh, created the published preview, created the master script, created database script, executed the script, and published completed successfully. So let's go out to Azure real quick. And let's go ahead and look at this design here. We're going to have to refresh this whole instance so that it can look at everything. Um, and then let me exit out of here real quick. I'll leave this page. And go database blog manage. It's gonna ask me for my stuff. There we go. So it's gonna log me in, load silver light again, uh, get all those services, database, and then we can click into design and see. Look at this. Do you see the blog? It was created for me, and the comments was created automatically 
you can view your dependencies right here, which is pretty cool. And if you notice, um, comment has a dependency on blog, right? Okay, because to every blog you have certain comments. All right, so that is a SQL data project. Um, what's nice about these published profiles is let's say I'm gonna make that my master database, right? The blog, but let's say I wanna create another one real quick. So we're gonna make this our staging one. I'm gonna say SQL database, quick create, and call this database name blog dot staging um, it's going to be in the west us2 and then create sql database the other one we can do blog.production um, so we're going to let this go real quick it's up and going right um, that's all we needed to do now watch how simple this is we're going to create the same database over there we're going to say publish and we're going to edit this put in the server name um, do the server authentication. Okay, save my password. Click on this. It's going to load up blog.staging, is where you want this profile to go to. Test your connection. Cool. Click OK. And then we're going to we're going to call this uh, blog.sql.staging.sql, right? And then we're going to create profile and it shows up right over here right um, which is pretty awesome uh, so we have a published script name it's going to be that save the profile and then what we're going to go ahead and do is if you notice it showed up as the same thing it didn't come up as this name right for the sequel so i canceled out of there we're going to go over here and we know that this one is the extra one so we're going to blog.sql.staging.publish.xml, right? And we know that this one is um, canceled. We know that this one is going to our production. So let's rename it. And we can call this um, staging. We can call this production.publish. So if you want to go ahead and make changes to the staging, and if you notice, there's nothing in the staging right now. Um, Let's go ahead and right click on this. Oh, right click on the project. Go ahead and click publish. You're going to edit your target. You can put in your. Nope, we're not, are we? All right, load the profile off. We got a staging or we got a production. Staging's already mapped. Open up. If you notice, data source, everything right here goes to um, that specific one for our staging instance. And then we're just going to click this publish. There should be nothing in our staging database right now that we just created. It'll be empty like it was before, but watch. Once this publishes through, it's going to go ahead and show us those same tables. Okay. Um, so let that publish through, creating publish preview. Builds project out, creates a database script, and now executes it. Renaming factor, blah, blah, blah. Element goes through. And let's click back in here. I'm going to refresh this. Now we have two SQL databases, one blog.staging, right? I'm going to click Manage on here. I want to close out this other one that we had, which is the prod. Leave this, and then let's go here, and then let's click Manage. We're going to bring up the new. It's going to have the same username. That's one of the things you want to remember is that for every uh, SQL database you create, it's going to have the same uh, username and password. So don't just create, like, say hey this is blog admin because if you have multiple databases then you have to put in blog admin for everyone okay um all right so here's your blog staging go to design but Bo boom there's your two tables see that now you got a staging and a production database set up through visual studio 2013. all right thanks guys um, what's great about this is if you have different branches, so in TFS, if you have a production branch, you have a staging branch, you have a dev branch, you can create scripts for each one of those, put those projects in there, you can merge the projects up together, and then when you go to publish your projects, you can actually publish them to your local, to online, to whatever it is that you need. All right, let's go to the next one. We're going to get a WCF service up communicating with us. All right, later. Bye.